and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be another makeup tutorial for you and it is going to be the look that I am wearing right now. In my last tutorial, which I had such a fun time filming for you, I loved the way that video came out. A wonderful subscriber left a comment over there wanting a back to school full foundation look and this is what I came up with. This look is definitely perfect for work, for school, or just for every day. The foundation that I'm going to be using is now one of my staple foundations. I used it in my last tutorial so if you watched that one you know exactly the one I'm talking about but the Estee Lauder double wear foundation has amazing staying power and I definitely turn to it when I have a very long day at school so if you want to get this look then please keep watching I did want to say though make sure to stay tuned to the end of the video because I'm going to be doing a very special giveaway Alright, so now getting into the makeup, I'm going to begin with face and brows, but before that, I'm going to give Lily some love. Next, for my moisturizer, I'm going to be using the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. Now, because we're going to be at school all day, I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever HD High Definition Primer, and this is just going to ensure that our makeup stays put all day. So you guys have seen this before and I'm going to be using my Estee Lauder Double Wear Makeup and my shade is 1W1 Bone and like I've said previously this makeup has amazing staying power and I use it for really long days. For application I'm going to be using my Sigma Angle Top Kabuki F84 but you can obviously use any foundation brush or beauty blender that you're comfortable with but this foundation also has amazing coverage. Did you make it to the Milky Way? So for even more coverage on the places that I need it, I'm going in with the 10 color palette camouflage concealer from BH Cosmetics and I'm just going into some of the lighter shades and using that under my eyes. To a few of these, there's some peach undertones and so those are the ones I'm using here. And here I'm just going in with a little bit of the lightest concealer over that peachy salmon concealer under my eyes just to brighten things up a bit. So going away from the more light concealers, I'm going into one that matches my skin tone a little more to cover up any blemishes or scarring that I have. Next I'm just going in with this little sample from Sephora and this is a sample of the Bare Minerals Summer Bisque and I'm just taking this on my Sigma Tapered Blending E40 brush to set my under eye concealer. on to setting my makeup and I am using the Mali Beauty Evercolor Poreless Face Defender and just along with my beauty blender to apply it. Then to bronzing things up a little bit, I'm going in with my Hoola Bronzer and my Real Techniques Powder Brush and I'm just using this to add a little more dimension to my face. Was it everything you wanted to find and did you miss me while you were And then for a little more precision when it comes to contouring, I'm going in with my Sigma Small Contour F05 brush and just using this to contour my cheeks a little bit. Can you imagine no love fried deep fried chicken, your best friend always. So now on to blush, I'm going to be using the 10 color palette from BH Cosmetics and my Eco Tools Tapered Blush Brush. And I'm just going into a really pinky color that doesn't have a lot of shimmer that's in the lower left hand side of this palette. For my highlight, I'm going to be using NARS Albatross on this little fan brush from Crown Brush. And you guys know, as always, I am using my Anastasia Brow Wiz in brunette to fill in my eyebrows. Now on to the eyes. I'm going to begin by using a base and I am using the MAC Paint Pot in Vintage Selection. I actually did a first impression of this over on my Instagram if you want to go check it out. And then the only palette I'm going to be using for this look is the CoverGirl Shimmering Sands palette. And here I'm just taking the lightest highlight shade around my inner corner and bottom lash line. And then on a crease brush from Target, I'm actually going into the darkest shade in the palette and just defining my crease. And finally I'm taking the middle shade, which is a nice taupe color, and using this on my bottom lash line. 
For liner, I'm using my Jordana Fabo Liner Liquid Eyeliner in black, and here I'm just lining it very close to my lash line and only winging it out slightly. And then I'm just coating my lashes really well with the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. And here's a trick I've been loving lately. I'm taking the L'Oreal Telescopic Shocking Extensions Mascara, but this shade is in brown and it helps create a really natural look. So here are the finished eyes. I hope you guys like it. So the lips are pretty darn easy. All I'm doing is going in with a chapstick first like I always do. And then I'm going in with this great shade from MAC called Plumful. I absolutely love this shade just because it looks so natural, but it adds a pop of color to your face as well. So here's the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. So what do you guys think of this look? I am very, very pleased with it. I just feel like this kind of look brings out everyone's natural beauty and that is exactly what we want. But getting on to the one thing that's super exciting is my little giveaway and I'm doing this because I just received my prize from the Best in Beauty competition and I wanted to take a second just to thank you all so, so much. I know that it took a lot of time out of your day to go over and vote for me and that is why I'm doing this giveaway. From day one I told myself no matter how far I got I would give my prize away to my subscribers just because I would not have made it into that competition and through that competition as far as I did without you. So I did receive two things from Jin. They were very, very nice gifts. One being that little trophy back there, which is so, so cute. Let me go grab it because I want to show you guys. So here is my little trophy and it has some makeup up there. How adorable is this? This was such a cute idea and it also says the best in beauty competition, third place, Lacey Keith, because yes, I did come in third place, which is absolutely absolutely amazing and obviously I can't give this prize away my whole goal was to just give away everything that she gave me but this has my name on it and I must say that this thing's adorable and I'm going to have it in the back of my videos for a very long time but the one thing that I am able to give you guys is this little Urban Decay palette which is so so cute I'll go ahead and open it up for you just so you can see the colors because some of these are so so gorgeous now I am not totally positive on the name of this I'll make sure to um, look it up for you and put it in the description box down below but if you guys want to see a little more close-up pictures of this I'll go ahead and include them over on my blog just so you can see the colors. So I'll be setting that little palette aside for one of you lucky winners but thank you thank you thank you Jen if you're watching this because that competition was so fun to be a part of. It got my name out there, it got my videos out there to a whole new audience and I can't thank you enough. Alright so there's only a few rules to entering this contest just like last time and I'll be sure to include them all down below in case I forget anything that I'm saying right now. But one, you must be a subscriber. Two, please make sure that you only enter if you did go vote for me in the Best in Beauty competition at least once. I know this is kind of a hard thing to check, but I'm really going to try my best to make sure that the winner that I do choose at random did vote for me at least once in that competition. Rule number three is you must go like my Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash lovelaceybeauty, and the link is always included down below in my videos. This giveaway is going to be international. I've had a few people comment recently that are not from the United States, and I really, really want to make sure that if you win this contest and you did vote for me in the best in beauty competition that I can get that prize to you wherever you live. So that is all I have for you in this video today and I really really hope you enjoyed my first back to school makeup tutorial. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and to click this little box right here to subscribe for new videos. Hope you are having a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys! Lily just walked off with my beauty blender. Nice. Yeah? Are you filming yet? Kinda. Oh. <sighs> Ow.